Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. Let me right click on the first page.html, open with Firefox. Let me right click once again on the first page.html, open with the notepad to see the source code. In the previous tutorial, we understood how do we display double quotations around some text and how do we highlight some text with the yellow color. In this tutorial, we understand some more text formatting tags. So I delete this content from here, file, save, reset. Don't have anything in the browser. Before I explain, I go to start, all program, accessory, open the word pack. Now here we see some information. I am going to say here, hi, html, exclamation mark. So you can see that, hi, html, exclamation mark, I have typed and I underline it by pressing the U button here. We know that this operation I can perform in the browser also. I am going to minimize this and I say here I HTML exclamation mark file save go to the browser refresh I get I HTML exclamation mark. I want this text to be displayed under line. So what I need to do just before the head I use the U tag after the exclamation mark, I close the new tab. File, save, and refresh. This will display underlined text. Then I say here break so that I can display the next content on the next line. File, save. Let's come back to the word box. Here you can see that if I mouse over on the U button here, draw a line below the text. So what this U button actually does is it draws a line below the text. So go to the next line by pressing the enter key. Then I say here, I HTML exclamation mark. This time, just see, I want to draw a line in the middle of this text. So I just select this text. Here we have a button called as right through. If I click on the strike through button, what it does, it draws a line to the text. If I click on this, you can see that it has drawn a line to the text. The same operation I can perform in the browser also. How do we perform that? Minimize this. Here you can see I am going to type I HTML exclamation mark file save go to browser refresh. It has displayed high HTML exclamation mark here. I want to strike through. So what I need to do means I am going to use the HTML strike tag. There is a tag, which is a pair tag, S T R I K E. Just before the X, I am going to type opening strike tag. And after the exclamation mark, I am going to close the strike tag. S T R I K E. Then I go to file, save, go to browser, reset. You can see that we have a line exactly in the middle of the HTML text. So this is known as strike through text. We have strike through the content. Now, next, I am going to say here break, and then again I write I HTML exclamation mark. File, save, refresh. Now I want to strike through this text also. How do we perform that? I can use the strike tag again. S T R I K. Opening strike tag. Then closing strike tag. File, save, refresh. You can see that I got strike through. Now what I want, I can perform the same operation using some other tags also. In place of a strike tag, I can use the del tag. There is a tag called as del. I am going to opening del tag and the closing del tag. Let's see what happens. I should see the same output. So file, save, go to this place, refresh. You see that I am getting strike through tag. If you go here, I write the break tag and I write i, xml, Exclamation mark, file, save, refresh. This is not a strike through, right? So if I have to strike through, I can use the strike tag or I can use the 
delta tag also, right? So I now open the delta tag, I close the delta tag, find space and refresh, I'm getting the size to tag. If I don't write the delta tag, file save, we get the normal text, I HTML extension. In place of type and tell, we have another tag which is S tag. There is a tag called as S tag. I close the S tag here after the exclamation mark. This S tag is the short form for the size tag. If I save this file, save and refresh, you can see that I got the size to tag. So you can use the size tag or you can use the bell tag or you can use the yes tag to get a side through text. Hope you guys will understand. So in this tutorial, we have understood how to be side through a text by using stripe tag, del tag and s tag. For this tutorial, I think this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, we understand some more formatting tags. So, thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Please subscribe, like, comment and share. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.